friends, YouTube, live streaming friends, hey, if you're checking this out on Periscope, here's one thing that I want to tell you. Please make sure you uh, share this out if you hear something that you like. What's up, Latasha, Unforgettable Diva? Listen, if you hear something that you like, do me a favor, tap on the screen. If you're on Periscope, share some hearts. Hearts are free. And uh, of course, please be sure to share this with your friends, your followers, so that those folks can jump in. Hey, Fashion Addict, thank you so much. What's up, Latasha? Hey, listen, today I was driving into the office uh, and I was listening to, to something um, from Joel Osteen and it, it really got me thinking about um, how we function every single day, some of the stuff that we deal with, especially as sales professionals, right? But this applies to everybody, so it's not just for sales. What's up? What's up? Robot about. Good to have you. Internet Ricky. Ricky Lopez. Thank you. Southerner fan. Thank you so much for jumping on this Periscope. I'm going to give it just one second, everybody. I'm not going to be one of those people that sit here for five minutes waiting until a thousand people get on before I get rocking and rolling. But I am going to give it about another 30 to 60 seconds. And you know what? While we're waiting for others to jump on, let's do this. Let's listen to a little bit of uh, Coldplay, Viva La Vida, right? I think that was a good, good song. Good song. Let's listen. Okay, let's don't because otherwise it's going to give crazy feedback into the into the speakers. Sorry, that was really probably not a good idea. All right, so here we go. This is what we're going to talk about today. You know, a lot of times uh, we have to. I am a rock and roller, Ricky. God, I have enough ink, right? Like boom, boom, boom. Okay, so let's talk about this. A lot of times we are we are. Day to day to day, we wrestle with people that uh, just bring negativity right into our circle. It just happens. Whether you're driving down the street and it's that moron that pulls in front of you, whether you walk out to your car after lunch and find out somebody opened their door and banged into your ride, whether you're out to dinner and somebody just looks at your cross, or whether you're on that sales call and it just doesn't go your way, there are going to be circumstances that are going to try and bring us down. Now, here's the crazy thing. If you think about a boat, a boat can be out in the middle of the ocean, surrounded by hundreds of millions of gallons of water. But the boat will always stay afloat. Yeah, or you get jacked in Los Angeles. The boat will stay afloat as long as you don't let the water in, right? So think about that in the context of our everyday lives, right? We can stay afloat. We can stay moving in the right direction. We can stay on the course to where we want to go as long as we don't let the water in the boat. The water would be the negativity, all the stuff that would weigh us down. See, a lot of times... We let emotion run everything. So when we're thinking about stuff, we're focusing on, uh, I feel a certain way. That hurt my feelings. Listen, we're not in kindergarten. Sure you have feelings. And sure they're important. But we can't let those rule us. You can't let your emotions rule you, right? So when you think about stuff, you think about, okay, I'm setting a course. I mean, right? I'm jumping in my boat. I'm setting a course to wherever my goal is, wherever I'm trying to go, whatever I'm trying to accomplish. That, that's the path I'm on. And around me, I'm surrounded by, by, by these big waves. And they're all trying to get in. They're trying to get in the boat. They're trying to sink the boat. That's just, it's just how it is. Okay? But when you get in there, if you just stay the course, stay the course, stay the course, you got to do the things to make sure to keep the water out of the boat. So what do we do to keep, keep the water out of the boat, keep the boat from sinking, keep the negativity from weighing us down? Well, one thing you got to do is you've got to start. you got to start the journey every day, right? you got to start the journey with, with maybe building, building some higher walls in the boat to keep stuff from splashing in. What does that mean? That means your attitude, right? you got to start your day by focusing on something that's going to help get your attitude to the next level. Get your attitude set to be an attitude of a champion. Now, some people say, you know, uh, you know, when I get down and, and, and bummed out, then, then, you know, I'll go pop in Tony Robbins or I'll do something to pump my attitude up. But listen, attitude is something we've got to work on on a daily basis if we want it to stay good. You don't wait until you're stinky before you take a shower, do you? Of course not, right? You shower every day so you can stay clean, stay fresh. Speaking of which, I need some Jean-Paul Gaultier. Oh, God, that's such good cologne. Fleur de Mont, if you don't know, now you know. Every day you shower so you can stay fresh and stay clean and stay at the top of your game, right? So you can look good, you smell good. God, you smell good. So you can feel good. You've got to do the same with your attitude. Okay, attitude doesn't just happen. thought you'd like that, Deanna. Attitude doesn't just happen. A positive attitude, a champion's attitude, doesn't just happen when you wake up in the morning. Okay, you have to actually be intentional to make it work. 
So just like you need to bathe every day to stay fresh and clean, you've got to invest in your attitude every day. That's going to help build those walls to keep the storms out, to keep your boat from filling up with water and sinking. What's the next thing you got to do? Listen, you've got to sharpen your skills, okay? Now, <laughs> Ricky said, I don't know boats, but I know rafters. My boy Ricky came over from Cuba when he was like eight, okay, on a raft, and there were people falling off the raft into the ocean who didn't quite make the trip. So Ricky, I, I had to share that so people knew what the hell you were talking about, brother. You know I love you. Um, so here's the thing. What else do we do? Well, we've got to sharpen our skills. Listen, you can be out in the middle of the ocean, but if you're not working, I'm moving the right direction. If you're not paddling hard, you're never going to get where you need to go. Buzz the beam and great thing. Surround yourself with others who have good attitudes. They wear off on you. So true. Thank you so much, fashion addict. I really appreciate that. That was so kind of you. Listen, um, you do have to surround yourself with positive people to help keep your attitude up, right? If you have good accountability partners, good friends, good relationships, they're going to care enough about you to say, hey, what's going on? What can I do to help you? What can I do to help you feel better? Now, you can't rely on them, though, to be the only reason that you stay upbeat. See, you've got to exercise your mind and your attitude just like you would your body, right? It's that critical if you want to make sure it's good. Now, how do we sharpen our skills? Well, you practice. Listen, you might not be in sales. You may be watching this. You might be a barista at Starbucks. You may be working at Target stock and shelves. Listen, you might be flipping burgers somewhere. That doesn't mean that you're not valuable. It doesn't mean you don't need to work on yourself. If you flip burgers at McDonald's, be the best at flipping burgers at McDonald's. Be so good that they look at you like, why are you working so hard at McDonald's? What the hell's wrong with you? Let them see your light shine so bright because you work so hard at being the very best at your craft. See, just like that boat filling up with water, if you're becoming the best at navigating that course, you're going to get where you want to go. You're going to reach that destination, your goals. Last but not least, and I think this is critical. I, I just think this is critical. Celebrate every little victory that you have. Listen, sometimes you got huge goals. Sometimes you hit them, sometimes you don't. Shine bright like a diamond. Thanks, Deanna. That's like uh, Rihanna, right? Isn't that her song? Listen, sometimes you're going to set huge goals for yourself, and they don't seem attainable right now. From where you're standing, you can't see them. I said this the other day, but it was Martin Luther King Jr. who said, you may not be able to see the whole staircase, but take the first step, right? You got to take that first step in faith. Here's the deal. The reality is, you're not always going to feel like you're getting closer to your goal because you can't see that end game. So if you're not rewarding yourself for the small victories, internally you may just want to give up. So the third thing, like I said, you got to celebrate the small victories. You know what? If you're if you're trying to learn a new skill and you you know you, you learn one little thing you, you get better at, you realize you know what? Today instead of making 20 phone calls to make contact with somebody. I made 19 and boom, I made contact. That's a small victory. Celebrate that. Look, if you're flipping burgers at McDonald's and you know you were able to make 30 burgers in an hour and now you've made 31, celebrate that. Celebrate the little things because when you reward yourself for the small things, you feel good. You feel motivated to go after the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And before you know it, you're pulling that boat into the harbor on the other side of the ocean. And the big goal is realized. So listen, go out there today, focus on your attitude, start the day with something great, make sure that you're working on sharpening your skills, and make sure you reward yourself every time you have the smallest victory. Yeah, Jeff Glacken, it's a celebration. Hey, so speaking of that, those of you that are going to be out in Las Vegas, Chris Spear and I have been working on Tech 9, Hood Go Crazy, and that just made me think of... Uh, of, of uh, the, the line by Tech Nine where he says, uh, it's a celebration. Me and my delegation got fools, hella hating. I love that song. Anyways, I appreciate every single one of you for jumping on the scope or watching it on the YouTube live stream that's going on via Wirecast right now. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And I just want to say, go out there. You know, all these people that are crybabying and bitching about Mondays. No, I don't speak Portuguese. I'm so sorry. But I'm, I really appreciate you jumping on the scope. Listen, all the people that are posting memes like, it's Monday. It's the worst day ever. You know what? They're sitting there complaining while you're tuned in looking for a way to make your Monday rock. So keep that in mind. You've already taken a step in the right direction. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. Love you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, I can't wait to see some of you out in Las Vegas. Now, go out there and make your day amazing.